Hello, I'm going to do the Libra weekly energy for the 15th to the 21st. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. If this resonates with you, feel free to check out the extended down below. All right, so we're going to look at what is your obstacle or concern for this week. For Libra, money, Ace of Pentacles, Fool, <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> what it is that you need to look at? What is it you need to, to work on? What is it you need to see? Page of Wands, Devil, Three of Wands. Future energies, four of wands, queen of pentacles, and six of wands. Love it. I feel that you are struggling with a new job, with a new opportunity, with finances, with actually, I feel like there's something that you love to do and that you have you, you stopped doing it in the past or there's something that you love to do in the past that you felt that you could make money with it or it was a, you know, sometimes if we feel creative but we feel, okay, I can't, you know, make money at doing this creative thing so I have to go get a job where I can make money in order to support myself and so we forget that creative outlet. But I feel like this is something that you want to get back to and you, you've always had it in the back of your mind, but you're, you're struggling this week with how do I make this happen? Because I feel like it's coming up in your mind. I feel like it's kind of coming to the forefront or you get reminded by it. And you're like, you know what? I had thought about that in the past and I had really wanted to do that. But I gave up on that before I really put a lot of work and effort into it. What you need to look at, I feel like, I feel like it's getting back into it. I feel like it's, don't let the overwhelmedness of the obstacles that are in front of you hold you back. And I feel like there may be someone around you that's trying to hold you back or there may be somebody that's kind of putting that toxic energy out there that's saying, no, don't do it, don't do it. You know, I don't think that's going to be a good direct, I don't think that's going to be a good thing. I don't think that's going to be profitable. But I feel like that person doesn't have true intentions. I feel like that person is trying to hold you back because they don't want you to succeed. I feel like you need to kind of take those baby steps to see how can you make this opportunity happen? How can you make this thing happen? Whatever this represents for you with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, with this Three of Wands here, we have the Fool, which is on the sale, right? And that goes back over here to this. And I feel like, yeah, you see that that ship is out there, that you see that that opportunity is out there, but it's just like, how do I get to the ship? How do I make this happen? How do I make things? But I feel like it's taking baby steps, little steps at a time that start to build up and start to snowball into something bigger. But I do feel you have this devil energy around you. You have this negativity. Either this is yourself saying, oh, this is never going to happen. That seems too good to be true with this kind of fool's gold over here or it's someone around you that's stopping there's some kind of energy that's trying to stop you or has been stopping you from this future energies I love it we have a partnership working together right things start to work out things happen for you we have the queen of pentacles I feel like you have this happiness and you're like I'm so glad I pursued this I'm so glad that I went off I'm so glad that I hung in there and again with six of wands is success and victory and, and rising above the situation and seeing who truly is there to support you. I feel like you kind of realize that, you know, all right, I got to make sure that I surround myself with those people who truly will support me, who true are in a true partnership. There also may be an opportunity that comes in to, for you in the future because you start taking these baby steps and you start putting your name out there or you start putting the information out there and information someone comes back to you and offers you an opportunity for something but um, we're going to um, take a, a closer look we're going to get some um, we're going to get some uh, clarifications here 
Oh, my brain is so excited that it can't focus. All right, so what is this Ace of Pentacles for Libra? Ace of Pentacles. All right, we have the Three of... We went from the Three of Swords to the Three of Cups, so look at that. I feel that it's something that you started in the past, but somehow you got talked out of it. Um, I feel like it's something that made you really happy. This could be a relationship, but I'm thinking more business. Um, and I almost feel it like you stopped it too soon. Um, you were really starting to get into it and you were really starting, you were finally starting to see the rewards to this and how happy it was making you, but then all of a sudden it's like you stopped it. Um, the Fool, Knight of Cups, the Emperor. I feel that this is something that will really bring you into your own power and it'll bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Not only emotional fulfillment, but I feel like monetarily that this is something that will... It will be more fruitful for you now when you get into it because it's something that you're giving 100% effort into and it's something that you're giving 100% energy into. Um, the fool represents taking a leap of faith and it represents being foolish. And maybe that's why you didn't do it before is because you felt it was foolish for you to focus on something. But I feel that sometimes you have to be foolish in order to have these big rewards, right? What is it? Um, the bigger the, the something, the greater the rewards. Oh, I can't think of it right now. Like I said, my brain is all over the place, but um, sometimes we have to do, we really have to take control of a situation and we have to say, hey, it's time for me to be foolish. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. I feel like, I almost feel like you were angry at yourself because you didn't take this opportunity in the past and you were like, if I had done this in the past and I had stuck with it, <laughs> then I could be at this amazing point now. But I feel like that's something that you kind of have to learn from that situation and that you don't want to repeat it, that you don't want to look, be looking back, say five years from now, and you're like, oh, I had that opportunity again to get back into this or to do this, and I gave up on it again. It's You keep going back and forth with something with this indecision. You're like, but I feel like it's take what you can take, right? Take the things that you need, take what you can learn from it, and walk away from the la rest. And don't don't get yourself caught up in that coulda, shoulda, woulda. Because I feel like that's something that is going to create a problem again. All right, we have the page of wands. Pages, there's new ones. Work on it, work on it, work on it. Work. Little baby steps, baby steps. Work on it, baby steps at a time. Sometimes I almost feel like it's this page of wands is yeah, there's, there may be people around you that are not going to be happy with your decision, but it's like, okay, I got to start focusing on it. I got to buckle down. I got to work on it. I got to set up my plan. I got to have my patience. And there's, I, I feel like there's something negative. There's definitely something negative around you that's trying to hold you back, but there's a situation that you have to deal with. Somebody's not going to be happy that you say, hey, I want to get back into this or I want to do this or I want to focus on this or this is going to be my direction or my goal. That you, You're worried that somebody isn't going to be happy with you saying, hey, I want to get back into this. The devil card is stunting your growth. It's, it's stopping your direction and you got to tear that devil down. <laughs> You got to tear that devil down. Look at that. You got to blow that devil up. You got to move on without the devil. This toxic energy, I don't know if it's a person. I don't know if it's your own personal thinking, if it's negative energy, if it's things from the past, whatever you feel chained down to. It's affecting your growth. It's affecting your guidance. It's affecting your how, your hope, right? 
Time to blow that up. Time to blow that up. Because the sun is trying to burst through from the tower. And the sun's trying to come out. But you've built this, these walls around the sun. And it's time for you to strip that down. It's time for you to tear down that tower. It's time to shake things up. It's time for you to stand up. Right? Three of Wands. Look at this. I love it. Ace of Pentacles over there. That's what's your obstacle. That's what you were struggling with, right? Dealing with that. Over here is what you need to look at is what is important to you and how do you make it happen? I feel after this tower, we have the Ace of Pentacles, right? After the tower, you have this clean slate. You have this new beginning. You have this partnership. Again, I felt over here in the future energies, this is connecting to this because why? You had this tower, and then you can start new. Look at this. Talk about starting new, right? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. How did that happen after the tower? That's what needs to happen. Four of Wands, partnerships, new opportunities come in. Your relationships become stronger. You realize who's on your side. You realize who's your partner and who's not your partner. And that's what I feel like you really realize here. Um, and that's, that's where it all begins. Um, I'm going to do an extended where I'm going to clarify these future cards here um, in the extended. So if you feel this is really resonating with you or you want to hear more of the message, um, I'll leave the link down below. I'm going to close out with a Wisdom Oracle card and an Energy Oracle card. To close it off and we're also going to clarify these in the extended we have higher power I love it believing that there is a higher power that is trying to guide you that is trying to show you that is trying to put all of these pieces in place for you right for you to for these things to happen for you to get to the point of this tower and then for you to have that clean slate and start over that there are messages around you, there's guidance around you, there's signs around you. We have the thinking man. Um, there also may be a man that is that comes into your life to help guide you, that gives you direction, someone that you can learn from, somebody who's very smart, somebody who's wise, somebody who's been through this situation or has an unbiased opinion that can help you. It also could be with this partnership that you may partner, partner up with a man who has, who knows more about this Ace of Pentacles, this business that you want to start, that you can learn a lot from this person on how to get things started. Like I said over here with Baby Steps, is first seeking out that knowledge, seeking out those people who have already done this so that you can learn from them and see what they did and then so you can start taking those Baby Steps to make things happen. This higher power, since we had looking for those signs that there may be somebody that comes in around you this week that kind of tweaks your interest, turns that light bulb on, and is somebody that will help to give you guidance. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.